Hi, I'm Dr Linda and I'm working alongside Pooch and Mutt and today I wanted to make a video all about fussy dogs. In my clinic um, I see fussy dogs every day. It's a really common issue that you put the food down and your dog doesn't want it. There's lots of reasons a dog may be fussy or may refuse their food. And the most common reason is that the dog isn't hungry and perhaps they don't need the calories. So for example, smaller toy breeds are often labeled as fussy, but these dogs really don't need a lot of calories each day. And if they're having a slightly lazy day, maybe they ate a lot the day before, they may not need the food. It can be tempting to try and encourage them to eat and um, to bribe them maybe with some chicken on top. Usually we don't need to do this. Dogs are really good at regulating when they eat. If your dog is a healthy weight, they're not losing weight, they've got energy throughout the day, it's very normal to sometimes just skip a meal. And we usually don't have to do anything about that. Now, if your dog is always fussy, and it is a real struggle to get them to eat, there are things that we can do. One of the best things I've found with my dog, who is a fussy cavapoo, is Peach and Mutt's salmon oil. Now, salmon oil has lots of health benefits. It can improve things like joint health and skin health, but it also tastes really good to dogs and it smells really good to dogs. So for Rafi, my dog, I give him, he's less than 10 kilos, so his dose is a teaspoon and he gets that every day with his food. And honestly, the difference it makes is, is noticeable. So sometimes he'll kind of walk past the food and sniff it and say, mm, not right now. And I'll think, oh, I've not added the salmon oil. And I'll put it in and he really enjoys it. Now, dogs have different tastes. Some prefer fish, some prefer meat. But if your dog does enjoy fish, something like that might be a good solution <laughs> to fussy dinner times. Sometimes dogs like a bit of variety in their diet. If they're dry fed, for example, you might think of switching um, from one meat-based dry diet to another meat-based one from time to time, um, similarly with fish. So for example, if your dog is on the soft and shiny dry food, which is herring based, maybe you wanna change them to the health and digestion food, which is salmon based. And as long as this is done gradually over a few days, they should tolerate it well and you may find actually the change up in flavour gets them really interested in their food once again. Wet food is probably the go-to for fussy dogs. Most fussy dogs do prefer wet food. We can add it to dry food to kind of increase the palatability um, and because they tend to prefer the texture or we can feed it by itself. And again, we can use a variety of different flavours, whatever flavour your dog is into, we can go ahead and give them. So sometimes it really is a case of just varying it up from time to time. And you can get um, online on the Peter Mutt website, you can buy variety packs. So I know they're a big hit with most dogs. Um, it's important to say that we don't wanna be overfeeding our dog and offering them food too often because ultimately they're gonna refuse the food. So we should know roughly how many calories our dog needs. We should be following that each day. We should not bribe them with things like chicken or ham or cheese at dinner time because that is a recipe for disaster. What happens is you might add that to the food and then that's all they eat and they don't eat their dog food and that happens the next day and the cycle continues. The issue with doing that is that their dog food contains all of the nutrients they need, their vitamins, their minerals, um, all of the important micronutrients. And if they're just eating something like chicken or ham, they could develop nutritional deficiencies. So it's best not to bribe with human food and to stick with dog food. A final point I want to make is if your dog is really refusing their food, not interested in their food, they could actually be unwell. So do consult with your vet if you feel this is an ongoing issue or it's maybe causing other signs like weight loss, like a lack of energy. The final thing I wanted to mention, a really good top tip for fussy dogs is warming up the food. So if the, your dog is not interested in the food, but you think, yeah, you really need to eat, you've not eaten in a while, and warm up the wet food, even just for 10, 15 seconds. This releases the smell, releases the flavor, and that can be, you know, everything to the dog. Suddenly they've gone from walking past the food to really tucking in. So that's my top tip for the video today.